I think you found you touched on the last taboo when you made your documentary, Palestine is still the issue, four years ago. Yes. Uh, it showed the realities of everyday life for Palestinians, but it had the views of many uh, Palestinians and Israelis. Mm -hmm. But after the film was screened, there was an orchestrated attack on it by Jewish organisations, wasn't there? Well, uh, there were Zionist organisations because it was supported by uh, 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 many Jewish people. So I think we've got to make that distinction very clear and some very fanatical groups, um, very good at organizing uh, massive email campaigns. Um, we tracked one down to New York uh, where they would send out a generic um, email which would give the impression that the person sending it had actually seen the film. And these emails would be sent from places like Texas and South Africa and Australia and so on, but none of None of these people had seen the film. And it, they came in various forms. Some of them were quite calm and just were wrong. Others were absolutely vicious. And I got many death threats and, uh, um, and uh, the, the duty officers at uh, Carlton Television were deluged with this, this campaign. Um, in, in the end, it forced the Independent Television Commission to actually inquire into the film. Uh, so it was successful up to that point. But, uh, my producer and I had to write virtually the equivalent of a thesis on the film in which we had to justify virtually every frame in the film. I've never had to do this on any other subject. Uh, and uh, the ITC not only cleared it, but praised the film uh, yeah. and vindicated it was a very important decision because yeah. it did demonstrate that this kind of technological intimidation, if you like, uh, failed. Yeah.